And what, what should we expect to do? What should we call on ourselves to do to make sure that uh, rural communities and communities of color, uh, uh, tribal lands, et cetera, uh, uh, don't fall behind on current and future Wi-Fi technologies as they become available? Uh, yeah, it's a great uh, opportunity for this committee to look at a mix of, 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 um, of policies to promote. You know, we can, we can talk about digital literacy to make certain that our um, low income and communities of color uh, have the skills necessary and the tools to make the connection uh, to broadband, be it wireless or wireline. Um, I think for our tribal communities, pursuing the tribal priority windows when we look at uh, spectrum auctions is a critical step uh, and in recognition of their sovereignty. And I think just making certain that we understand where service is and is not available is critical. And like I mentioned in the 5G space, making certain that we have crowdsourced data to ensure that these small cells that are operating in our 5G are delivering 5G technologies are being delivered to our rural and urban uh, corridors um, so that those, uh, those communities that live in those um, have opportunities to get that access. So Mr. Guy is gonna take a true public-private partnership to make sure that we uh, don't leave people behind. Absolutely, that is gonna be critical. These are quite often communities that are vulnerable and they are highly dependent on government making certain that their needs are represented in policy. Uh, they don't quite have the lobbying capabilities of some of our larger companies uh, and so it's incumbent upon uh, on, on members like you uh, to represent those needs. Is there a battle of the bands going out there, Mr. Guys, when it comes to public safety, et cetera? I know that it was mentioned more than once about uh, the Department of Defense having a large uh, segment of, of uh, spectrum within their, their uh, purview. So look, the government needs the spectrum that it needs, and we want to be respectful of that. But we do believe with others on this panel that there can be more efficient use of that spectrum. The key is going to be working through a collaborative process with those agencies and the direction of this committee that there are certain bands of spectrum that need to be thought of as coming online for commercialization to further those opportunities. But if we approach it in a collaborative and cooperative spirit and really listen to their concerns, I think we have a real opportunity to open up more of this spectrum and to accommodate their needs, be it licensed or where a government agency needs to stay through sharing, uh, open access spectrum opportunities, all of that needs to be on the table and they need to feel comfortable coming forward in an environment where those interests will be respected. 